the first state park in Dade County, and the first anywhere in the state with its own private lighthouse, opened officially to the public on January 1st of this year. On the balmy breeze sort of day, the Chamber of Commerce likes to export north in winter on films to still shivering would-be tourists. The combination of the weather and the occasion brought out an estimated 2,500 persons. And apparently, they liked what they saw and spread the word. At least that's the only logical explanation for the fact that the park has already set statewide attendance records, nearly tripling the previous record high for attendance at a state park anywhere in Florida on a single day. And all this despite the fact that the entire Cape Florida park area is still under construction, with bulldozers and heavy earth-moving equipment carefully chiseling their way through stands of virgin pines and coconut palms, carving out roads that should be completed sometime in July. But the construction isn't confined to those roads. Five buildings are going up now. Three restrooms pinpointed at strategic locations, which currently feature temporary portable facilities. A gatehouse at the park entrance, and a combination administration office, restaurant, and souvenir shop close by the lighthouse. All five should be completed within 30 days, barring rain, that is, according to Bill Miller, director of the State Park Service in Tallahassee. Director Miller told Channel 4 News that plans for the elevator inside the lighthouse have now been shelved. But construction bids for a twin staircase are expected to be let sometime early this summer, with an additional bid still later for a complete restoration of the lighthouse tower itself. And if the state legislature approves a Florida Park Service request for an additional $90,000, Cape Florida will also build a marina complete with a boat hoist, boat ramps, and restrooms on the mile-long beach near the lighthouse. The park is dotted with picnic tables and shaded glens, but cooking in the park is still a thing of the future because of the drought. One spark in these tinder-dry forests could destroy in one huge blaze a subtropical paradise that took nature centuries to create. A few torrential rains, however, will change the picture, and possibly by then, if and when it does rain, the ban against barbecuing will probably be lifted. Inquiries about the possibilities of overnight camping and extending the present park hours during daylight saving time months are answered simply by saying, sorry, not this year, but perhaps by 1968. In the meantime, car loads of visitors are braving those still bumpy, drought-dusty roads each day. Attracted by the lure of that historic lighthouse out there, and the last remaining island wilderness in Dade County with a direct link to the mainland. Most visitors say they don't mind the dust, the drought-stricken forest, or even the bumpy roads. And a few old-timers say they'd like to see it stay that way. This is Del Frank at Cape Florida State Park.